what's up everyone tech cloud here and in this video i'm going to show you that how you can uh, downgrade your uh, windows phone 8.1 developers edition to windows phone 8.1 official release for your nokia phones with the cyan update so this is the link where you can uh, download the nokia recovery tool and I'm going to actually leave the link in the description as well so that you can easily access the tool. So once you have uh, downloaded the software, it will look like that. Just double click this one and uh, install the software. And let me tell you, this software will only work on Windows Phone and uh, rather the Windows, not the Windows Phone, Windows for your laptop and the desktop. And this is the reason why the video quality is not so great because I'm not at home because I don't have the Windows uh, PC at home. So I'm away from my home and uh, I'm using Windows uh, PC and I'm using uh, iPhone 5S for uh, video recording. That's why the video quality is slightly crappy and uh, I apologize for that. So in order to install the program, follow the on-screen instructions of the installation shield and uh, follow this uh, video if you like but it's very easy to install uh, this software and once the software is installed you will uh, find uh, this dialog on your uh, screen and you need to actually input uh, any name or your name it doesn't matter put the name in in, the, in it and uh, click finish and if you like you can uh, check check mark the launch Nokia software updater for retail as well. So when the software launched, the chances are you might actually see some dialogues like that on your screen, depending upon the security settings on your PC. So don't worry and click allow access. In my case, it came actually twice. So I have allowed access to both. And for some strange reason, the download link actually downloaded the 4.1 version of the Nokia software updater and that's kind of strange because uh, I actually downloaded the software from the Nokia link directly. Anyways, uh, now it will be updated to 4.2.1. So I will try to find the link to the 4.2.1 directly and if I'm able to find the link directly, I will put the link in the description. Otherwise just install the 4.1 and update it to 4.2.1 or you can google the latest version yourself so anyways once it is updated again the procedure is same you need to put your name there and click finish and the software will load just like that and now it's time to plug in your phone but before you plug in your phone, actually it is a good idea if you want to back up your phone in order to restore all the applications and the data on your phone. It's very simple. Just go to the settings and then find the backup and then click app plus settings. And once you are in the menu, select backup now and it will make a backup in the cloud. So once you have done that, now connect your phone and it will detect your phone and it will show you this message that the update is available because it will consider your developer version that it is an older version and it will show you the official version as a upgrade. So click install and it will start downloading the factory version or retail version of the software. And once it start downloading, just sit back sit back and relax once the firmware is downloaded it will restart your phone in the recovery mode which will look like this and then it will prepare to install the software at that time actually you might encounter an error where it will show you that it is not connected to phone or failed to connect it to your phone don't worry just retry and it will go through so this is the error no need to worry just press the recover button and it will try to locate the phone and start installing the software
as you can see it has uh, started the installation process and now it is updating your phone when your phone is uh, updating it will look just like this once the procedure is finished you will uh, find this dialog on your screen now easily you can uh, press the finish button and close this dialog and you can uh, configure your uh, windows phone uh, just like uh, you have configured your phone previously when you have uh, bought it as brand new but if you don't know how you can uh, configure your windows phone then continue to watch this video i will show you how you can uh, set up your uh, windows phone so here first of all you will uh, select the language in my case it is english and us so it will restart and change the language once it's come back it will show you the screen like this press uh, next until you find uh, the wi-fi connection over here just uh, give the password of the Wi-Fi and it will connect to the Wi-Fi. Once again, click uh, next button until uh, you find this. Here you can uh, either choose the recommended setting or custom. I will uh, recommend the recommended setting. Here you can uh, change your uh, region, time, date and uh, all this information. So feel free to change this one. Then you will encounter this screen where you have to sign into your uh, Windows uh, Live account. So once you have uh, signed in, it will uh, show you the last backup uh, you have uh, made. Previously, I actually didn't make the backup, so that's why it is not showing. Otherwise, it will show the backup over here and you can restore from the backup. So in my case, actually, I will uh, click the don't restore and uh, because uh, no such uh, backup is available for this uh, phone so now it is showing it is almost done press the next button and uh, just a thank you from uh, nokia press the next button and you will uh, find your uh, windows startup screen once again it will uh, restart because it has uh, booted for the first time and you have already configured your device now it's going to restart into normal mode and you can uh, start using your uh, phone as you can see now the windows uh, phone 8.1 is uh, installed on this phone and this is the scion update as you can see on your screen so guys i hope uh, that you have uh, liked the video thanks for watching and uh, i hope you will uh, find this video useful in order to update or downgrade whatever you like to call your uh, regular nokia firmware on your nokia phones keep in mind this video is only for the nokia phones so i will see you later in some other video take care bye